magic numbers. Five, six, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-six, 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 twenty-seven, and twenty-nine. All right, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to start off, we're going to talk about a line plot, okay? A line plot is used to dis, to express data, okay? A line plot is used to express data visually, okay, in a minute when we talk about the actual gaps, clusters, and outliers, it'll it'll become very obvious that it is a visual representation, okay, now, the first thing you have to do to construct a line plot, you must locate the smallest and greatest numbers. They also call those values. Okay? So we want to locate the smallest and greatest numbers. What is the smallest number? Five, obviously. What is the largest number? What? Twenty nine. There's your two there's your smallest and your largest. Okay, now, second step, draw a number line that includes all of the numbers between the smallest and greatest. Okay, so we're going to draw a number line. Obviously, for me, it's easier to draw a number line than it is for you. Okay. Now, on the number line, we're going to put our numbers. Five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to 29. Alright, so there's your number line. So that's step two. A ruler? Yeah. No. No, it's not a ruler. It's a number line. Alright. So once again, there's our smallest and there's our largest. So it includes all the numbers in between the smallest and the largest and those two numbers. Alright, now Step three, step three is place an X on the number line for all of your numbers. Okay, so the first number was 5, correct? So I am going to put an X 
above the five. Second number was six. So I'm going to put an X above the six. Okay? I'm not going back and forth between the numbers. I've got them here in the book, so I'm looking at there. But I would highly suggest marking out each number as we use it. Okay? Then we go to 21. Put an X. Then we go to 22. Put an X. Then we go to 23. Then we have another 23. So I put an X above it. Okay? Then we got 24. Put an X. Get 25. Two times. 26. Three times. Twenty-seven, one time, and twenty-nine. All right. All right, everybody put your pencil down. You may not be done yet. That's fine. We're, we'll get back to it. Put your pencil down on your desk. I want everybody on this side of the room, except Nikki and Quade, to go stand over on that side of the room. I want you two to go stand on that side of the room as well. Are they over there? I'll let you copy it. Don't worry. I'm not going to move it. All right. So... Where are all the people at? Over here, right? This is a cluster. This is a cluster of people. Okay? Is there any people in here? No. This would be a gap. And over here, these two young fine people are the outliers. They're the ones that are out there. Okay, so that's the visual of what we're fixing to talk about. Y'all can sit back down. Thank you for being my my two outliers. Yeah. All right, now, on our line plot, we are going to label those three things we just talked about. The cluster, the gap, and the outliers. Okay? So, Jacob, I want you to stand up. All right, I want you to go to the screen, and I want you to show me where the cluster of things are. That's the cluster, that group right there. So we're going to take and put a little squiggly thing up above it, and we're going to put cluster all right, Judah, go there and point out the outliers. What would be the outliers? There you go. Those are the outliers. So we come here, and that's the outliers. So the only thing we have left... ...is the gap. Now, you will notice that there is a gap between 27 and 29, but that's not a gap. You can tell that you know all the all the numbers are down here at this end. Okay, you may have times where there's like a number missing here, and then every that's not a gap. A gap is going to be you, you should be able to tell it. Okay, so I would say normally three, four numbers at least has to be a gap. Okay, well, let's say we had this. Let's say we didn't have six, but we had five and seven. Okay, between this, the, the six is not a gap, and these are still outliers. Okay, it would be like this. Uh, let's say I had somebody come in, and we had a new student, 
and the new student was 26 years old, okay, in sixth grade, okay? Obviously, that would be an outlier, okay, because all the cluster is, you know, between, you know, 16 and 17, right? Oh, y'all are 16 and 17? Why'd you tell me you were 16? All right. Now, so we have gaps, we have outliers, and we have the cluster. The cluster is where the main numbers are, are, are at. Okay? And as you can tell, it's very visual which is which in this line plot. So, I mean, if you looked at the data, you might be able to see it in a book and say, hey, yeah, okay, here's the clusters. But when it's like this, it's very obvious very distinct what's the clusters, what's the gaps, and what's the outliers, okay? So that's how you do a line plot. It has to include everything, okay? So step four, once we did step three, step four would be, step four is to label the cluster, Gap and outlier. Okay. Label the gap, cluster, and outlier like we did above. Now, your number line has to have all the numbers that were used and all the numbers between your largest and smallest number. Okay. In other words, I can't do a number line that goes 5, 6, 21, 22, 23. You can't do that. All right. If the numbers like here, like we said just now, if the numbers used more than once, like 23 was, 23 was used more than once, but you don't list it on the number line more than once. Okay. Your numbers always go in order. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay the number that occurs more than once, then you, you do it with the X's up above it. Okay, so don't, some people try to do that sometimes on these line plots. All right, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out our statistics for this data. So we're going to take and figure the mean, the median, mode, and range. Actually, I don't think they figure the range. Nope, no range. All right, so we got to figure the mean, the median, and the mode. So we're going to take those numbers. To figure the mean, I've got to take 5, 5, 6, 21, 22, 23, 23. 24, 25. Yeah, those numbers right there. And when you add those up, you get 308. I'm just smart like that. All right, so we've got 308. So with the mean, you add up the numbers. You add up the numbers with the mean. Okay? We add up the numbers with the mean. Then we take 308, just like we discussed yesterday. There's no way that the mean or the average of these numbers is 308 when the largest number I have is 29. Okay? So my mean has to be somewhere between 5 and 29. Okay, so if I divide it, I divide it by 14 because there's 14 numbers. Okay, 14 goes into 30 twice, be 28, remainder 2, bring down my 8. 14 into 28 goes 2 times, be 28, remainder 0. So the mean is 22. The median, 
the numbers are already in order. Remember, with median, you have to put the numbers in least to greatest order. With the median, I just start marking them off. One on top, one on bottom. One on top, one on bottom. One on top, bottom, top. I got two of them that are in the middle. So now I have to take and say, what is 24 plus 25, 49, and divide that by 2? Or I can ask myself, what is the number halfway between 24 and 25? Thank you, Tayshawn. 24.5. That is the number that is halfway in between 24 and 25. Okay, like 24.1, 24.2, 24.3, and so on until you get 24.5. So if you divided 2 into 49, you would go 2 goes into 4 two times before remainder 0, bring down my 9, 2 into 9 goes 4 times, be 8, remainder 1, add a decimal. Add a zero, bring down that zero, two goes into ten five times. So that's how we came up with 24.5. Now, what is the mode? Well, if we go back up here to our line plot, the mode is 26 because it has three X's. Okay? So that's 26. Okay, now, um, do what? Sure. All right, your homework nine point four one through six. And number 14. Yeah, wait till you see it. Stop. Do what? 26. The mode is the one that occurs the most. So I look at my line plot. Up here on my line plot, I have two X's there, two X's there. 3 there, so the one that was used the most has 3 X's, and that number is 26. The mode is the one that occurs the most in your numbers. Yep. Okay, so 1 through 6, and then number 14. You still got almost 20 minutes left in class. Get started. I will get you a book, Levi.